yeah, okay, yeah, so this, this is part 18. Here we go! Let's get ready, go. No, no, no for you! Uh, we're in the... There's no element, like, no, uh, heat or cold resist and stuff, so we're good. I'm mainly worried about not having the, uh... The items I need to Uh, you should be fine. You got potions, you got max, or mega potions. Yeah, I should be fine. I worry. A little bit. Yeah, that's one thing about me and you that I've realized, that you're, like, effectively, like, I'm a warrior, but you're, like, a mega warrior compared to me. It's my side job. Your, your side job. My main job being a great player. So, so, once again, effectively, we're now reverting back, reverting back to RPG turns, where my main role is, like, the heavy armor guy with Two tiny daggers. I basically what a thief class should be. I I am the caregiver. I am I am the best rank in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I really like the Zelda Spider. I love fighting. Oh yeah. So this guy can inflict defense down and very fast and fun. Ugh. I said we get fire, right? Ah. If we get him down, we can just basically combo him until he's like dead, but just like get him down to begin with. Yeah, I I'm just going for hits at this point. There we go! Deal him! Nail him hard! Nail him long! Sound like Tarzan while I speak! Or Ayla. Yeah, he's always dead. But bugs in general in Monster Hunter, just like Pokemon and other, like even in real life, bugs have like no stamina or health. I don't know, Delta's queen kind of, uh, horror-y thing that I might have heard. Uh, she doesn't attach onto this thing, effectively. I think it's the other way around, right? Well, it, yeah, but I mean, like, it's the... Yeah, you know what I mean. They're, they're, they're a Pokemon fusion. Yeah, no worries, I don't know. Come on, car, 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 car. Torrent sack. The, the inner wing. That's disgusting, you knowing this thing's a beetle. And the Caterpie, or cat, cat, The stupid Corcus. Also, do you never pay attention to my kitty? Do you let my kitty's armor set? Well, let me see it. Is there a cat? Yeah. Uh, G-Ring stuff. Alright, I got it with G-Ring. It's um the helmet's uh an arch uh, uh arch temper an arch dra uh, elder dragon my god arch dragon what am I I've been playing too much Castlevania stuff I, mean, I keep thinking arch demon um it's an elder dragon uh, uh, helmet and then the body I think it's a high rank still I don't think I upgraded the body and then the the staff thing I gave it is the final online boss. I, I I say bosses, but like it's monster. Let's be fair, they're bosses for the most part. I don't like the the armor that the final boss gives you because it it's just like a sarcophagus situation. It just turns into a mummy cat. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Well, like it makes sense when you see it, and it's just like eh. Oh wait, I can't go for attack up. Defense up. Don't care. Even though it's high rank and nothing would ever hurt me. I mean, sometimes you want to play defense, especially in G rank when you're fighting like Devil Joe, Diablos. And that's why you probably die a lot more than I do. 
I I believe in a nice balance. I'm a psychotype, damn it. Actually, to be fair, psychotypes actually do have a very good balance in stats. Well, that's your Alex yeah, that's your Alex Zayn. You're just the fastest Pokemon ever. It's super broken. As someone who recently used one for an LP, I'm like, I kind of regret using it. That was every Pokemon in uh, Let's Go Eevee. I'm like, oh, I'm fighting Erica. I use my Nine Tails. I take everything down in one shot. Oh, I'm fighting against Sabrina. I'll use my Alakazam. Everything down in one shot. And also, did he get the pa did he get rid of the passive ability for Shadow Ball? Yeah. Like it's not in. Um, like I don't think there's any stat reduction minus Growl and whatnot in um, a Let's Go Eevee. I've played that game a lot. I played it for like over 300 hours at this point. You know, once again, I'm mostly doing the Elite Four three fights. Yeah. And catching Pokemon because they require the same thing that they did in Gen 5 and onwards, right? Where if you catch Pokemon, everyone in your team gets uh, experience for it. Yeah. Wow, this guy's being a jerk! I really don't like the lineup. Well, like, I understand it, but I mean, like, this is definitely weighted to more like a gunner class. Oh, and actually, this thing we should bring up, uh, the classes in this game, because there are very big differences on, like, world, where there's, uh, person being a gunner, person being, um, a blade master. You want to go over those? Uh, uh, just, like, in older Monster Hunter games, in general. Yeah, the only one I know is that gunners basically have about half of the that, that, um, a blade master can have, because of their armor. That's the main thing. Yeah, and then I've never used a guard class in old Hunt Hunter, but I've known friends that did it. And I think they were talking about like how there's some armor sets that actually reduce how much ammo you fire. And you can use like a, the same bullet twice, rarely. I, 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 we both never played Gunner, so like we wouldn't know. Yeah, Gunner ain't really my thing. I wouldn't mind to try it, but I need to like learn a lot of statistics and stuff against it so I know like what the ultimate ultimate range is to stay away from a monster, etc. etc. Yeah, all I know is that you wanna be close, I think for both, you don't wanna have I would I'm actually more of a fan of uh, heavy bow guns than light bow guns, personally, in a world at least. Yeah, I like heavy bow gun in world because it has the uh, the, the, rhythm fire, rapid fire, I, I, I know it's called something, yeah. but it's not what you think it's called. It's like Wyvern Blast or something, or what's that, the explodey thingy. Yeah. Yeah, I like Yeah. But I mean, like, I mean, even if you can't move like you can in World, it's still an interesting class that I wouldn't mind trying out. And actually, there's one thing I actually I was very upset in the world that they kind of just got rid of the armor class system. Yeah, that was kind of weird to me when I first found out. It wasn't weird because like I watched uh, like demos of it played and whatnot, so like I knew for the most part like oh yeah, this would just be like an easier way for like new people getting into Hunter. And like granted, it, it did its job just fine, but I wish you had more than the beta and alpha sets to pick from in high rank. Sure. Like, cause that's also what kind of made the game feel really boring. And like, we're both like old school hunters. We, well, you played more than I have, but I think I played more consistently than you have. Yeah. So like, yeah, I I started with three years. So like, that was a very interesting game for me to play and try out. And then I played this one for old Monster Hunter. So like, this is my experience of old Monster Hunter. But I've definitely played the games enough to know like the mechanics and whatnot. Yeah, for sure. In world, like yeah, once again, it's kind of from like two very like enthusiastic hunters. 
Like, yeah, did you get the same problems I have where it just got super boring at one point? Yeah, I was say the same thing. I, I don't think that the tempered monsters are different enough to be fun Yeah. And, like, this is us also being somewhat cynical at, at the same time. Like, it's not us being, like, fair. It's kind of just us being who we are. And I can definitely say that, like, for, I can wait back to myself on this one, but I am very cynical about how I review or talk about games. Yeah. So don't take, like, take my words with a grain of salt. And 10 minutes. I think I got enough, I think I got enough time for another hunt. Alright. We should also explain, because like, once again, I said I'm a speedrunner-ish character. Like, in the sense that I like to do things very fast. Like, I obviously, I try to go in with little things as possible, only bring in what I need, abs what, what I absolutely need, and then leave everything else that I don't need. And then you're more for like a long, drawn-out hunter. You want to explain how those two styles work and how they're different? The speedrun basically they use everything and they kill the monster as possible. I don't know how much I got out. Uh, as speed runner, you bring bombs, you bring, you know, whatever items you need to drop everything to kill a monster as fast as possible. For me, I don't really do this. I don't really care to. I just go in, I bring my sword, and whatever other horrible weapon I decide to use today. And I just go in and hit it. Yeah. Alright, so maybe I'm more of a tactician, you're just more of a brute. Like, to be blunt. Pretty much. That's the time for it. There you go. So yeah, like, as I said, there's a lot of different ways to play Monster Hunter, and I, to be fair, I don't diverge a lot from my play styles. It's just more, if I can mount it and make it go slightly faster by having it, like, immobilized, that's how I'll do it. Yeah, pretty much. I would say, um, to add on a little bit, I don't think Breakthrough is good for my style, despite how strong it is and everything, because you do have to have some style. You know how it's a yeah, mostly heads and tails. And we really haven't thought of a monster that we can explain the advantage of cutting a tail off of, so I'm not going to really go over that until we get to like a Rathalos or something, or a Tigrix. Even though Tigrix, it doesn't really matter if you cut the tail off or not. I've never thought of Tigrix. R really? Oh. Really? I know there's one in the last uh, session. Oh my god, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have fun. <laughs> like, I, I hunt tigers like they're bloody candy, but like, I'm also super used to them. Oh, Hermit Graham. And if I'm not mistaken, you would know this better than I do. Uh, Tigris is the flagship monster for Hunter 2, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, I, I played it in 2007 or 2012, whenever uh, the Wii U Monster Hunter was the thing. Uh, yeah, you're totally fine, because it's in the Oasis area. Yeah. Which I'm on the way to. Right now. You start in Area 1. You just have to go back to the home base and then go to Area 1 and then Area 3. Oh, you're in, like, Area 10. Okay. Also, when you memorize the map decently enough, you just know where people spawn. <laughs> It helps, it helps to know. It, yeah, once again, tactician, fire emblem character right here. I I am the best Robin. Don't question me. I can also do a roundabout Robin. I think I said that term wrong, but yeah. You know, I just realized. You're basically a Leo. You you kind of come off as a dark mage. 
<laughs> Wait, you didn't like Leo? Alright, out of like all the male characters, who do you actually like the most? From Fates, because I know you play Fates. Uh, what, what was the, uh... Uh, Ryo was the crown prince, yep. He was just so oh, straight to the point, though. It's kind of weird to, like, see someone like that on the Hoshino side. I think you're dead. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why, I like Xander more for, uh, out of all the male characters, because Xander is probably the most interesting one. And not to mention Siegfried. Siegfried was a really cool blade. <laughs> It was, I think he was like one of the only characters that was a cavalier in that game. Or it started off as a cavalier. Yep. His armor size I think is pretty good. I think his is like, it rivals Royal Lose off actually. For like early game stuff. I need to fight Bolden. That's what I need to do. Bolden? Oh! I hate that one. If that's the one I'm thinking of, is, is that the one that has, like, near impenetrable defenses? I don't think so. It's just a little angel looking. Okay, okay. Yeah, Sorry. Funny. I was thinking about the one that, like, is an event quest in this, and he has, like, near impenetrable defenses, and even with my purple sharpness, I can't really get into him. He's an event quest, and I think you actually have to fight him for a high rank quest. Oh, Volodon! I, I, I heard Volodon. I'm like, oh god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Volodon. I a lot in uh, three ultimate. He was actually one of my, like, he wasn't my favorite, but he was one of them. He was definitely high on the list. Yeah, he's also just the Sonic the Hedgehog. True, true. Every time I fought him, all I was singing for a majority of the time with, like, with friends online was just like the Green Hill Zone. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next part of Let's Play Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter Ultimate Generations Online. See you guys later.